All right, so we're back with another haul video. Uh, this is a very special package. This is from Keith, who has a BrickLink store. It is called Barn Bricks. And when I'm shopping for parts, you know, I fill up a wanted list and set up my minimum quantities and see who has the best price on them. And it just happened to be Barn Bricks. So yeah, I'm happy to give uh, Keith an order. You may have seen a previous haul video where he reached out and gave me a good deal on a old Dacta set, one of the ones that I was looking for and trying to kind of get one of every set, I guess. Um, so it was an interesting video. There was some weird like, like comics that came with that set. <laughs> so I was having a good laugh at those. And everything I'm getting in today is in service of making my own train <laughs> sets. Uh, that's what it was called, my own train. Um, so this is what I could build with parts in my inventory. You can see we've got the nine volt motor on there. And I didn't have the base. It's one solid piece that makes the base. Uh, <laughs> so that was the, the first thing that I put into the cart. And uh, Keith had a few of those, so I ordered some. I've also, you can see we've got the lamp up here. And I actually routed the wire through the front here. And then it goes down to the motor. And that's where it gets its power from. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty good solution. In the official set, it would have... Um, clips along the side here and you take the rod out that was there and just run the wire along into the cab here. But I thought this, this was just, you know, one step above that from all my years building computers and electronics projects. I, I try to, to do what I can to, uh, do some proper cable management when possible. So I'm very excited to get this built. You can see I've got missing pieces. I don't have the stickers I've ordered from two sellers on eBay that are selling third party sticker sets for them uh, they're they're pretty cheap because if you want to buy the official ones they're going to be expensive um so i did not do that <laughs> so this this is kind of a recent obsession by the end of this video i may have three of these built because i want to build three different versions of it because you could buy this in the short or long locomotive and each locomotive had two different builds with or without the tender on the back in addition to that, they had the parts packs where you could do different colors. You can do green, red, blue. I think it was maybe five or six colors. And if you're interested in the My Own Train series, uh, Lego My James O has a review of the locomotive and three of the passenger car. I think it was three passenger cars. Uh, and just talks a bit about the sets and how they were sold. And then uh, Brickstar has a whole playlist. I think it's five or six of his own videos. There's one from Dunkster Bricks, two from Mardi Gras Man. 23, which is Earl from the a podcast. And uh, I think the last video was Three Brick Friends. That's not a channel I'm familiar with, but maybe I'll have to check them out. So uh, I've done enough talking to start this off. Let's get this opened up and see what we got. So he had a good portion of the pieces I needed. Uh, so I went ahead and placed the order with him. And I've got a few more orders uh, that'll be coming in over time. And they should all be in this video. So again, that's Barn Bricks. Go check them out. Enjoy. Thank you. So, oh, wow. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. So <laughs> I, uh, I mentioned, I was like, hey, you know, last time I talked to you, I was like, don't throw away the Lego 9-volt cables. Um, these guys, save the ends of them at least. You can cut the wires off. They're garbage. But these ends can be popped apart and repaired. And, you know, of course, I have tutorials on that. So thank you for holding on to these for me. Um, I also said if you have any other broken electronics or, or anything like that. You know, so I guess that's what this is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, we'll, uh, yeah, a lot of battery conversion there. But this shell piece, perfect condition. Um, well, not perfect. It's, the clip's a little broken. But, you know, like, this stuff can still be useful. Uh, we've got some 4.5 volt cables, which I'm going to need a gang load of these for the, some of the stuff I'm building. Oh, we got some NXT cables. Um, I don't even know what this is. Is this 4.5, early 4.5 volt, or is this 12 volt? That's a new one. I have never seen that before. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'll... Uh, dig into these at some point that is 4.5 volt because it's got uh it looks like 3c batteries in there uh, just some other kind of random bits so yeah i appreciate it you know this this kind of stuff i'd much rather it be sent to someone 
like myself, the who, you know, might find a use for these uh, rather than just throwing them in the trash. Um, this is a bit of a strange base plate. If I'm not mistaken, it was either this or similar that was in the sets where you would build a plotter and have the pen uh, controlled mechanically that would uh, be able to write stuff. Maybe that's why it's got that texture because it probably helps the pen to write rather than just having the smooth like it is between the studs there. Not sure. So, all right, let's get back to uh, what we came here for. So I'm not going to go through every piece here. First off, yeah, so um, if you saw I had built my containers, uh, they didn't have doors on them. These look a little short. I, I'm not familiar with these, but I, I bought some of the left and right versions of these. So possibly these could be used for doors. Maybe I'll have to put a brick on the top to make it as high as the others. Um, but yeah, I threw them in. I'm, I'm really starting to get into looking for doors and windows as I build locomotives and rolling stock, things like that. Um, I bought a Dr. Cyber <laughs> from the uh, Time Cruisers uh, series of sets. I, I just think those, those sets were cool and I want to build something eventually that uh, ties into that. Yeah, these are the train bases that are really needed. So it's an old part. Um, you know, these, I think the 4.5 volt motors could slide into these. They might not have had this cut out. Maybe that's the difference. So these, these will be use, very useful for um, little, you know, switcher locomotives, things like this that would use that base plate. Um, the larger locomotive has a, a proper train base, uh, but you know, that's what these guys are for, for the little, the little guys. So you can see here, I've got parts for red and blue. Um, so again, this is going to be the blue one. I'm going to try to make, I think, a, so this is without the tender and that's why it has the coal box on the end. There's a longer version with the coal box on the end and I'm going to build that one in red. So like I said, it should end up with three by the end of this. A lot of roof pieces here, the light blue straight plates, uh, gears, train wheels. Um, yeah, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Just um, some of the, some of the same pieces I had ordered for my um, Mersk uh, wagons that I'm building. Uh, so I'll be able to build up a couple more of those. So let's get this set to the side and I'll start working on my next door. And, you know, just, just real quick, again, be sure to check out uh, Barnbrook's store. He's, he's a friend of the, of the channel. He's, uh, you know, a friend of the A Full podcast. Uh, you know, he just, he runs in the same circles I do. And I, you know, I appreciate folks like himself. And before I get into the next one, um, there was a My Own Train Caboose. This is actually based on someone from Eurobricks. I believe it's Dr. Spock. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try to link to at least the Eurobricks post. Um, this is modified just slightly. Um, I use, instead of using the ladder pieces that most people would use here, um, I use some of the, some of the slope pieces, two wide slope pieces, and just kind of countersunk them in a little bit. That also holds the, uh, buffer on there. I don't have doors. Uh, I got to order doors. <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, a bit open, but it's an older style door that I want to put in here. Most doors nowadays are going to be like glass doors that would be on the front of a building and you know, they would look like crap on this, but I thought it was uh, a cute little caboose design. So I uh, just finished mocking this up last night. So thank you to Dr. Spock for, uh, for sharing. You know, I, I like it. Um, for whatever reason, I think this fits in a little better with what I'm doing uh, than the My Own Train Caboose. And again, uh, Lego My James O, as, as well as Bricks are, has videos on the official My Own Train Caboose. All right, so this is another one from Bricklink. And it's got... Well, I'm trying to remember what all's in here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, these are some of the... Um, I, I had mentioned with, with the white, the small, uh, I guess gondola cars. I'm, I get things mixed up. I was looking for three high one by one bricks and, uh, you know, I'm starting to find them. They're a little harder to find, but I've just got them on my wanted list in any color. And as they pop up, I'll, I'll pick them up. Uh, so I got some white and red here. Um, it just makes those builds a little simpler. Uh, and then I've got the panels to build a uh, green car 
and then I bought some some train bases. Uh, so here's two more yellows, so I can build uh, two more of the Mersk style wagons. Uh, I picked up another white one. I have two of these now. So maybe I can do something with it. Uh, if nothing else, this can be used as a semi trailer, and you know that's this is where you attach to the truck, and then you just have a wheel set here. Uh, you know, so that's an option. Uh, here's some more. So we've got, I think this should be 24 studs long, um, black train base. Uh, I guess that makes these 32 or 28 maybe. Yeah, if these are 24, I don't know. I get confused, but I actually do need one of these for uh, a passenger car. So yeah, so I just picked up what they had in stock. Um, these are more parts for the wagons, um, just tiles and things like that, some bricks, and uh, I picked up a set, and I, I rarely do this on BrickLink, but um, every once in a while, I'll see something that catches my eye. So th this is an early Lego Technic multi-set, you know, where you could get to build four different builds with the same pieces. Not at the same time, <laughs> but um, yeah, these pieces look good. For white, you know, this old <laughs> white pieces, these look really good. I'm, I wonder about the tires. Let's check the tires because this, the rubber on these, <laughs> I wonder if they paid $5 for it. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't pay much more than that uh, to buy it from them. Actually, these feel fine. Uh, a lot of times the rubber breaks down and these get incredibly sticky and slimy. Um, these feel good. Oh, so that, that's cool. That's a cool little set. And I actually did pick up a very old Technic set and did an unboxing and build of it. Uh, that's something I've only done once. I don't know if that's really the, the type of video I want to make these days. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm still trying to find what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so this should be uh, from the seller uh, in a previous video. They accidentally only sent one of the yellow bases. So this is the other one that he had. Um, and while I was getting that sent to me, I ordered, uh, oh shoot, well, <laughs> a couple of these older style train buffers because I had the magnets and the coupler piece, but did not, I could not find these. They're probably somewhere, but um, I'm, they had them pretty cheap. So I, I got those sent along with the other train base. It may not seem like it, um, but he, he was pretty quick to, to get the, me set up with the other one. So, you know, mistakes happen. It's fine. You know, as long as you work it out with them, it's all good. And we got another brick link for here. Uh, all right oh, okay oh boy oh no <laughs> well all right <sighs> i don't know if a bag busted or if it was just packed this way <laughs> all right uh you know just one more bag would have been nice um, okay, so these are pieces for um, the Myon train locomotives here. Um, these are the panels in sand blue, so I can make a couple of the gondola cars in sand blue. Okay, so this is something um, I didn't know before. It's a couple different versions of this piece. And you can notice one is much smoother than the other and one does not have that uh middle piece there so these are the ones that are in the my own train sets so i think i ordered enough to switch these over on the ones I already built i don't know this for sure but i would think a sticker would stick better to the smooth side there um so i'm going to be that's why i went ahead and found somebody that had the flat pieces and ordered them oddly enough i actually had one of these that i found in a box of lego and i don't know where it came from <laughs> um so i got more of the panels 
These are the older style without the side supports. So I'm going to see which ones the stickers fit better on, that kind of thing. Um, these are for the you know train bogeys. I've got several of those. Um, so these pieces on the my own train were part of the color set so they would match the locomotive so i'm not sure if i'm going to use red or black um, these in blue uh, the only person i could find that had 12 of them they were like three dollars a piece or something crazy so i don't know if i'm ever going to get <laughs> get the blue ones that i need and uh, for that piece uh, and then these are for the yellow Merc wagons that i've been building all right and this is kind of the the main star of the show today this should be a complete my own train set with the tender so there's all the pieces and this should be yeah, the train base here well protected just like that so i'm gonna take this upstairs get it built uh finish up a couple other builds i'm working on and then we will show them all off okay so this is all the stuff i brought down here to talk about uh sorry for that last clip i don't know what was going on with the focus and lighting uh i was doing all kind of weird stuff so this is the gondola uh, not gondola this is the wagon that is it's based on the Mersk set um but is recolored for yellow so this is what i was talking about earlier i now have enough pieces to build six um so i've got all the pieces set aside for number six here so i'll be building that a little bit later today um the dark bluish gray train base i used to build another one of these guys and i've had most of the pieces to build this for a while now uh, but finally went ahead and did it, it is missing couplers a lot of these are going to be missing couplers because i'm waiting for some to come in the mail okay so we got three of these down here so these are the two that I built today. This is sand blue and green. The green might be a bit much. I'm not sure, but I, don't know, I think you get a bunch of these going together. I, I think it looks kind of cool. It's, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> if there's anything that I'm an army builder of, like, you know, I'm not going to make a tipper truck army, like uh, someone we, we might all know, but maybe, uh, you know, a small army of, uh, of these guys and just try to get any color that I can get, uh, I'll, I'll see about it. Um, and then this is the uh, tan, and these are the solid one by three, or one by one by three bricks. Um, just makes it a little bit easier to build, and you don't have to worry about trying to get these lined up perfectly. Um, you know, it's kind of a pain. So that I'm gonna try to convert these over as I get those pieces in. Uh, this is the first train that I showed off earlier in the video. Um, again, I'm missing the blue here. And if I didn't mention it earlier, this is newer colors. This is all dark bluish gray and light bluish gray. Just because it makes the things a little bit easier. And um, this one's ready to go. It's all wired up. Uh, we've got the wire going through just like we did before. And it goes inside of here. You can't even, you can't even see that there's a wire. So I'm, I'm very happy with the way that turned out. I like the blue. Um, I'm excited to get the stickers for this. Uh, this one by six blue. I don't know if you can see the difference in color, but I'm going to try to find a new one by six to put in there. And it is basically complete. Um, I went with the pearl gold piece here. I think that looks better. And um, I don't. I may, is that a whistle? I'm not even sure what that is. <laughs> so that is the final small blue engine. Um, this is as far as I've got with James, um, sorry, the <laughs> red, uh, my own train. This is the larger steam locomotive without the tender. Um, this is as far as I can get with it for right now. I actually haven't run the wires yet. That's just a blank connector there. Basically no wire attached to it. Um, and I'll have to run the wire through the, the boiler down to a nine volt motor. So this is probably going to be a nine volt version as well. And I'm missing the rods here, missing the black ladders. Um, but overall, it's it's mostly done. I was I was actually kind of surprised I got this far with it. And last but not least, we have our black 
my own train. I think it's, oh God, 10214, I believe. I'll, I'll fix it with text if I screw that up. So this was a complete set that I ordered. It has all the stickers. Um, and these stickers were all off center and I did fix these on the 317 stickers. Um, he had on these uh, three one by twos he had the stickers on. I don't think it looks good like that. So I just flipped it around on that side. Uh, well, that one's a little off center. So I'm going to have to fix that. That kind of bothers me a little bit, <laughs> but not too bad. Um, all of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, they're all pretty much off center. Maybe I'll fix those. I'm kind of waiting for the new third party stickers to come in and see how they look. And then I might just put new stickers on this. I'm not sure. Um, the only two pieces it was missing really were two one by one round in dark gray, which is fine because really I kind of plan on converting this one over to light bluish gray too and dark bluish gray might as well modernize it i guess um, this has the trans yellow i guess bricks there i might do with the white like i did there i'm not sure um i'm still kind of mulling this over my head this is probably going to be taken apart again and clean because if you'll notice some of these pieces not all of them but some of them are extremely dusty um, look at these train wheels. Like, were they just rolling this through the dirt? <laughs> oh, they are filthy. So, really, I built it to confirm that it was complete and it was exactly as listed that it was missing the two dark gray cylinders. So, expect more from these uh, My Own Train locomotives. Um, this one in particular, I'm debating on how I'm going to run it. I might do a conversion of this. Um, powered up would be tough because um, the powered up hub's too tall to fit in the tender. But I have some ideas. So there will be a follow-up video on all three of these locomotives, all of the modifications I've made and that kind of thing. But I want to get them finalized. I want to wait for the, the stickers to come in before I get much further with it. And it may take a while, you know, international shipping takes forever. So I'm not sure how long that video is going to take to come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, be sure to post a comment below. And if you have any suggestions for rolling stock or trains that I should try to get, uh, let me know because I'm, this is getting, this is getting addicting guys. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one.